Hello, is this thing on? Okay, nice. Gym music is often seen as the necessary evil, the oral equivalent of white paint. That doesn't mean these songs are bad, far from it, but the sheer amount of repetition, like being stuck in a time loop hearing the same songs over and over again is like some cruel horrific form of musical waterboarding. The problem with gym music is that it's not tailored to the individual, and how good they? The speakers in gyms are public address systems, and you can't just send multiple songs out of the same speakers for everybody to be happy. We all have different tastes and preferences when it comes to music, and what motivates one person may not work for another. There is a course of action to this problem, investing in noise cancelling headphones, and music more tailored to your own taste. But I think this problem can highlight something even more interesting. To what extent does preferred self-selected music improve physical performance in comparison to non-preferred generic gym music and no music at all? Although music isn't exactly a steroid, a specific research paper here highlights how listening to self-selected, preferred music increased the strength endurance of 40 resistance trained participants by 5.8% in comparison to no music at all, which is the equivalent of about one extra repetition on the bench press in this study. Of course, how many repetitions that 5.8% adds is completely dependent on how many repetitions you do in a single set. In this specific study, they measured how many repetitions the participants could do of 60% of their one repetition max weight to absolute failure as measurement. A limited number of other studies such as this one from CURSA 2018 show a similar increase in strength endurance of 3.9% and even up to 15.8% in the study by Ballman et al 2018. What's interesting though is that in these two studies they found that music increases strength endurance as mentioned but doesn't increase your overall maximal strength, how much weight you can lift for a single time. When doing a single repetition with maximum soul crushing exertion, the brain starts to focus more on the pain and effort of the muscles being stimulated instead of the external stimulus of the, the doom theme or whatever you're listening to. It'd be like trying to juggle while you deadlift. You can only do one thing at a time, unless you're one of those people who can deadlift with one hand. Sort of like how rhythm itself serves as the driving force in music that propels a piece forward. Music also helps to reinforce the surprisingly crucial element rhythm has in doing multiple repetitions of an exercise, which thus results in increases in strength endurance. This isn't true with doing a single repetition, due to the lift being performed only once. You could, however, argue that these two studies lack a certain amount of validity according to the research paper by Silva et al. 2021, as they didn't include results of non-preferred music, making it difficult to determine if the improvements in strength endurance in these studies is due to preferred music or simply the availability of music regardless of if it was preferred or non-preferred. However, in this research criticising previous studies, they also found similar increases in strength endurance and even increases in maximal strength when listening to self-selected music during training. And this was with the optimised measurements, including non-preferred music to address the shortcomings of previous studies. But what effect does generic gym music have on performance? While well, in this study, they found that non-preferred music pretty much had the same effect on physical performance as listening to nothing at all. So the generic gym music played in gyms, given that it doesn't suit your own personal musical taste and therefore considered non-preferred, 
doesn't exactly steal your gains and that it directly results in decreases in physical performance per se, but rather that you lose the greater performance benefits of listening to self-selected, preferred music instead. Although listening to Adele Hello, a song which I've actually heard playing in my local gym, doesn't exactly inspire to go out and lift a 200 kilo barbell, but rather go and cry in a corner somewhere. Gym music isn't completely without function, however. One important aspect of gym music, which is probably why gym music is actually played in gyms in the first place, is that it hides exercise noises. Without gym music, you would hear a combined cacophony of heavy breathing and clicking joints beside the squat racks. Nevertheless, music in fact does have a bigger role to play in building muscle and strength than you may realise, and it may be wise to actually carefully consider prior to a workout about what music you should listen to in order to reap the potential benefits that music can bring in improving physical performance. Multiple studies show that upbeat music with a tempo of around 120 to 160 beats per minute or BPM have the most substantial effects. This is due to it being the average tempo that people move at when they do multiple repetitions of an exercise, which thus reinforces that also important rhythmic component. And this doesn't only apply to the mass monsters curling 30 kilos for reps, but also for cardiovascular exercises and other sports as well. Ultimately, the most important thing is to choose music that you enjoy and that motivates you the most though. If for whatever reason you like listening to Beethoven while repping 20 reps of a 200 kilo barbell squat or you prefer silence, what matters is that it allows you to perform at your absolute best. However, it's worth noting that listening to music that you have self-selected, in other words preferred music, can in fact increase your strength endurance and quite possibly even your maximal strength as well. So if you're looking to perform at your absolute best or simply wondering if that playlist you have on Spotify is a hindrance or benefit to your workout, it may be wise to bring your own self-selected preferred music as the tool to augment your training. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more of this type of content and hit the notifications button that sort of looks like a bell. Goodbye.